Do I look at the camera? Or do I look at the my myself? No, I look at the camera. What's up, everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com here. There's a lot to talk about. I've done a lot of things in the last few weeks that I haven't been posting videos. I'm going to give you an overview of some of them. I've done a lot more, I'm sure. And I figured, you know what? If anyone wants any details about any of the things I'm about to show you, then I'll make a video dedicated to that. I got the burps because I just ate an apple because my little rabbit jumped on the table and was eating out of the fruit bowl. So I finished it. Anyway, here we go. This is what I've been up to. Check it out. Where do I start? I don't know. Yep. Modified and built these things. This is for a day job work project. Actually mounted them in, uh, in here. And then CNC cut the actual circuit board straight in half. These used to be twice this length. This is the side I cut right there. You can see the... You can actually see the traces. Right there. Actually literally cut them in half. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, that's a day job project thing. So, my wife's in here now. She's going to bug me, so I'm trying to work. She's trying to make a video about things I've done in the, oh, in the recent Oh, what did I while. do this week? No, no, this... No, the... No, because I can't make... The whole point is is that they're supposed to pick a thing and then I'll dedicate a video to it. Or a few things. And I... Well, I, you have to make the video if no. you do it. Okay, no. so then you can't tell me what you did. Okay, tell me what you did. I no, no, I don't want to know. What? Oh, that's right. Go ahead. Go I ahead. I found your solder. Yes. And you said I couldn't do it. Well, I did say that. And I did it in like less than a minute. This is true. I had some parameters in my head. I didn't tell you them, so you win. You did not say free Anyway, shipping. I finally ran out of this solder. I bought this sometime back in 2015, and I finally ran out of it. So you found some. I did. And I put it on there. Oh, right there. Yep, and I love this stuff. This is my favorite solder of all time because it's thin solder, small solder, skinny solder. And um, it has a lot of flux in it, and I don't have to add much flux that way. So, you guys want to know what my favorite solder is? This is leaded, by the way. That's and my favorite solder. And where did we solder. find it? I don't know. Um, On the internet. Yeah, but it was half the cost of it everywhere was. else. I'll put the link in the description for you guys. And then you can Compound buy it. Some. It was like $80 everywhere else, and it was like 54 on that website. With 50, no, we paid 57 but you bought two things, and that's with shipping. Well, it was, only four, it was only $40. Well, that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I know. What do you win? I win. No, you can't tell the internet. It's our little thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I got to choose what I want. Yes. So I was very excited. Yes, but you, well, it's out of focus. But you can't tell the internet. Why can't you tell the internet? I have no idea. I don't either, but let's just keep that to ourselves. I can't make a video about that, okay? Get out! Actually, you can stay in here, but... Um, <laughs> but I just need to get over there. Okay. And the chair's in the way. Anyway, that was a distraction for two minutes. <laughs> you can stay in here. Alright, so... Anyway, where are you going? I got stuff to do. Oh, she's got, she's got stuff to do. It's like, literally, like, nine, eight o'clock? Oh, it's, only, it's 8.45 at the night. Anyway, sorry, distraction. Okay, back to this. So this is a work project. I strap them in here in this little jig. It used to be this long. I have other parts in that box so I can't show you. And then I literally take my CNC and I cut it. Like, literally, cut the circuit board in half. Anyway, this is a work project. If you're curious what this is, this is a 300 watt, 24 volt wireless charger. And it ends up looking like this. This is the receiver when it's finished. And this is the transmitter when it's finished. This is for a project I've been trying to show you guys I've been working on for like four and a half years. It's a daily duty work project, so I can't show you because it's not my thing. But eventually, we're launching this thing. This is the second batch of 30 that we're building. This is actually, there's like 30 here, but we're doing 20. Long story, can't, anyway, blah, blah, okay, next thing. So, sorry, that was like four, five minutes of distraction. I built this, my wife actually built this, very nice box, and I kept carrying all my related RC equipment to the fly field. I finally said, I need to go buy a $20 toolbox at Arbor Freight, and then take some foam and put it in here. My transmitter, that one right there, actually fits in here. I got my FPV goggles, I've got my little monitor in there so I can use that. 
And um, yeah, then I got all my stuff for the fly field, which is really nice. There's not really much to show you out a video about this. However, this, I haven't really kept up to date on you guys on what I did. So, I built a all-in, oh, it's called a uh, four-in-one transmitter module. This fits in the bay. You guys actually saw me make this when I made a video about this one. This one does all the other protocols. Even I can even connect it up to like one of those or some other generic brand um, thing. So it's pretty cool. It's like open source project and this has four different type of modulating um, chips in here that, that get programmed. You have to flash it. I have a port on the top for USB. Um, this is an old Spectrum box that I modified it to. Anyway, that's one thing. The second thing was, you guys already saw this, but I took the trainer module off here. Remember the trainer module I had? I literally cut the wires off, shrink them, and stuck them back in the hole. Yes, I put that inside this radio and then added these buttons and switches on the back of this radio to actually be able to um, connect to it, turn it off when I don't want to use it, and turn the power off when I don't want to use it, and I can turn the signal off um, and that disconnects the uh, the port in the back so I can still use it for an external source like head tracking. I know, I need to fix that. Battery's dead, my UPS. Anyway. Uh, so, yes, I did that. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's fantastic. Good job on me. Next thing I did, if you want to see me, I really want to show people that. I didn't make a video. Like, I've done so much stuff recently, but I just haven't made videos. So if you want to see a video on any of this stuff, let me know. But I put that module inside here. I even connected it to the old little green light right here. And I can see when it's on or off and see if it's connected or disconnected or see if it's in bind mode. It's kind of cool. Anyway, the other thing I did was, yep, TBS Crossfire and a super long range antenna yeah um, if you want to see more about that let me know but I can get my telemetry data back to here on my other big plane so instead of using this telemetry data in my pass-through module which I showed you how I built I'm actually using the data coming from the crossfire module which is pretty neat and still showing it on my radio okay again pick something you guys want to see and I'll show you I also rebuilt this whole glider and put a Embedded flight controller. You can see I cut this out. I put a flight controller in here and then try to get this thing all balanced up and Yeah, put this motor in here um, put uh, uh, An ESC here on the side and the new motor in here and new prop in here. I got from the uh, swap meet the motor and uh, the crossfire and the motor and the uh, Thing in here. I actually got from a friend uh, Who gave me the goggles amazing? Anyway, it's hanging here because I flew it today. Um, on a non-RC related thing, I now have HVAC in here. That's right. I really got tired of running that air conditioner and wasting a bunch of power and I don't really like those things because it's pulling out air while it's also putting in cold air. It's dumb. I don't really like it. So I punched a hole in the wall and I put, I'm pulling air from the other room into here and it's working like a charm. It's currently uh, 110 degrees outside. No, I'm not kidding. And it's 82 in here, so I can't complain. I'm almost not sweating with my hat, but I generally don't wear a shirt in here. Anyway, um, this is more stuff for that daily project. I'll get back to that in a second, don't let me forget. So here's the plane that I acquired that was literally ripped in two complete halves. This, the whole front of this thing was off. And I, up. Oh, I glued it back together, I fixed it all up, I rewired the whole thing, and I upgraded it with this F405 wing controller. This thing is legit. So, this is what I've been flying recently, and I love this thing. The goal for this is actually to put a head tracker on this. So, this is my trainer, this is my soon-to-be FPV plus head tracker, but I want to do a head tracker, like literally, in here somewhere I have room in here I want to make it in here and put a I don't know what I want to do but I want to make it legit and I can do head tracking why because oh I totally just whacked my head on that thing I flew I totally want to do head tracking for a couple reasons one my trainer input allows me to put those channels and hook them up to something else and this actually has a head tracker input then my goggles of course have the head tracking output so I can just wire this stuff up. Do you have anything to say to the audience? The audience is my YouTube. The YouTube is the world. Do you have anything to say to the world? Hi. Time's up.
That's it? Yeah, <laughs> yes. All right, well, Riley's in here to get in my way, so anyway, um, yes. So with that comes, of course, all the cool kind of data, all right? So this was my flight today, uh, and I put a giant oversized battery in that airplane, 12 amp hours. I can get an easy 20 minutes out of it. Anyway, this is my data log from that. It's pretty fun. Cool, right? Yeah, awesome. Fantastic. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so I did that. Um, there's a few new gliders and planes in here that we've been playing with and toying with. I don't know what else is new that you haven't seen, but, uh, yeah, there's new things in here. We, got, we went to the swap meet again. I didn't, but you guys did. It was awesome. I walked up to that guy and said, Elijah, go ask how much that plane in. And he walks up and he goes, hey, how much is that plane? And he said, would you like it? And Elijah said, yes. And then he gave it to him. For free! Free! Now, the problem is, is that Elijah thought it was his when I was asking him to ask how much it was because he, he gets a better <gasps> discount if the kids buy the planes and I was going to give him the money to buy the planes that he brought home. Then he put it in his room and he's like, hey, that's mine, right? And I said, no. No. <laughs> I actually was trying to buy that. And so Elijah gave it back to me, but he can fly it when he wants. They're all for us. Anyway, sorry, distracted. Okay. For the last thing. Well, I did something outside. I'll show you this, but I did something outside. I'm not going to go out there and show you. But outside, I redid the whole pump. I put a new pump in. It's working great. Riley, what language is this? Where are we going? Oh, Run off the song. bench. Run off the bench. Song? Run off the bench. Mm. No! Anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I did that pool pump thing. Gee. Last thing, you eating again? That's that, that she eats a lot of my videos. Um, I actually, I actually eat the food normally, but she always eats in my videos. It's the time I'm not eating. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so anyway, watch this. Wow. Fancy. So one of my friends uh, actually works at a hotel, and apparently this was in one of the big old giant rooms, and um, yeah. They gave it to him, and he gave it to me, and it's amazing. So this is a, a Bang & Off Sting. All right, if you go look up that brand, you'll see why this is amazing. Because this unit right here, with that little black box that all these cables are plugged into, was like a stupid amount of money, brand new. It was like three grand or something like that. And then he gave me the speakers. And I didn't really know where to put them yet. So I put them up here in the back of the garage, and I put the other one over there. Okay, and that's the uh, below nine speakers. They're like, they're like four thousand dollars or something stupid. That's crazy. And then he gave me the subwoofer to it too. This is a square looking thing. It's kind of funny. <laughs> kind of looks like me. Uh, funny. funny. Okay. <laughs> anyway, funny looking. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's that. So would you please just oh yeah and that thing's like three thousand dollars I don't know the whole setup's like ten grand mm -hmm. obviously it's from 2006 so it's not ten grand now yeah. but it's they still sell for like six grand the whole set now why is it cool because it's crystal clear it is fidelity it is designed for the most highest quality fidelity you can possibly acquire and I will say actually you will say what? Ha you will say because you've actually heard it she doesn't like loud music that loud not that, loud. Not that loud. We turned it up all the way, pretty well, like to the max, with some violin music. Lindsey mm -hmm. Sterling. Yeah, we had Lindsey Sterling. Sterling playing that day when you were like freaking out that day. Nonetheless, Anyways. forget it. You've heard it really loud. <laughs> yes. How do you think it sounds quality wise? Ask you of one to ten, a nine. One to ten, she's gonna give it a nine. It was amazing. It really, really, yeah. And you? Um, I don't know any difference, so I'm gonna say a ten. She doesn't know because she, she didn't come in here when it was turned up all the way. No, it's I just, heard it out ah. there. Okay, so it was so in the garage, and I had the doors the only thing open, oh, and it, it literally still... sounded crystal clear in the in the kitchen. In the in kitchen, the room, yeah. two rooms away. Yeah. And so if you stand right here, between these things. I've learned that my ears hurt really bad. <laughs> because it's too loud. Because the high pitches come in so much more clearer. I anyway, so I can make a video on that too, but I've been doing a lot of things. Why is everyone in my garage? I'm trying to make a video. We miss you. Oh, okay. You. What are we going to do? Uh, 
Ichi. Eat cheese? That's did. usually what I say as a funny comment, and she was eating cheese. I don't have any string cheese, so I had to eat sharp cheddar. Well, at least it's not holy cheese. <laughs> I do like Swiss cheese. It's yeah. My yeah. So, uh, I explained to you one day what the hole, what the holes are from. Do you do you remember? Um. No. There's the bacteria in the grass seed from the oh yeah, and cows. It makes so, the holes in the yeah, cheese. so they clean the they clean the milk so cleanly with all this stuff yeah. they clean, and then the cheese stopped making holes. I I actually learned that on a Tom Scott video. It's pretty I don't cool. Know who Tom Scott is. That's okay. Anyway. So it's been 15 minutes, this video is getting a little long, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the things I've been doing. And me and Elijah have been flying planes and putting this together and doing all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, yeah, so I didn't make a video on any of this stuff. Normally I do, because I just wanted to get stuff done. And so if you want to see any little details or a full length video on any of the things I showed you, then let me know. And I guess I'm going to upload this video without an edit, because I'm not cutting this video up. What are you laughing at? How do you even cut a video up? I don't know. With scissors! Duh. Duh, you know? You had to, you had to tape the roll, the wheel, you cut the wheel, and you tape the two Aunt, pieces you together. Got cameras in your ears. Wait, cameras. let me see. Cameras! Right. It's upside down. It's oh. upside down? That's too bad. That's go. a photo camera. I wanna. I wanna. Yeah. Is that? Are you spying on me right now? Are those <laughs> no. spy cameras? You got wires attached to those? No. Huh? No. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, that's it. Peace and love. God bless. As always. Been working on my mental health. Have you been working on your mental health? Um. I feel better. <laughs> we feel better. End of story. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Bye. Have a good day. What are the last words? Huh? Made the Bob and Mo. That's it! You win! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now I owe you two things. <laughs> Bye.